Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Unus Academy. So guys, in our previous video, we have seen the discharge measuring instrument that is venturi meter. So now over here in this particular video, we are going to learn another discharge measuring instrument that is nothing but the orifice meter. Its construction, its working, its applications, the types of the orifice plates and some of the criteria we are going to learn over here in this particular video. So guys, if you are new over here on my educational channel, Engineers Academy, kindly subscribe to my educational channel and please press the bell icon. So whenever I upload a new educational video, you will get instant notification. So guys, without wasting any time, let's begin with the today's topic of orifice meter. So basically orifice meter is a type of the flow meter which uses the differential pressure measurement technique and this particular different measurement technique will helps us to get the discharge and to calculate the flow rate. So basically now let's talk about the construction of this particular orifice meter. So first of all we uh, as we have seen in our previous video of the venturi meter like venturi meter requires a lot of space but over here in case of the orifice meter the we require less space and the design is you know very much compact as you can see over here this particular orifice meter requires less space while doing installations and it is mostly suitable for the pipes which is having less span so unlike the venturi meter this particular orifice meter is you know very much compact it is having a compact design so now let's move towards the construction of the orifice meter this particular orifice meter consisting of the inlet flange a uh, restriction orifice and the outlet flange this particular orifice meter it fitted into the particular pipeline and uh, by the means of the flange connection basically and uh, when the particular fluid enters through the inlet flange let's say this particular inlet flange is having the section one and the orifice uh, plate which is there in center this particular orifice plate having a small bore like the pipe having a diameter internal diameter having d and this particular orifice which is fitted at the center this will be also having a small hole okay and via that particular hole the fluid is going to pass towards the outlet flange when the particular flow getting inside in that particular section one okay at section two we are getting a considerable pressure loss over here we are getting a much pressure drop in case of the orifice meter so this is the reason this is called as the restriction orifice over here we are restricting the flow and we are only allowing small amount of the fluid to pass that particular hole so this is the reason over here the considerably pressure drop occurs over here in the case of this orifice meter but over here in case of the previous venturi meter there is a slight pressure drop and like uh, this particular uh, like at the discharge end we can regain the initial stage but over here we cannot regain its initial stage as over here we are getting more pressure drop so now let's talk about how this particular uh, orifice meter like uh, measures the flow rate or discharge so first of all at this particular two sections there is a differential pressure gauge attached and this particular differential pressure gauge measures the difference in the pressures between the section one and section two this particular difference in pressures is linear with the flow rate so this is the reason the this particular difference in the pressure is the application of the flow rate and we are getting a particular flow rate on that particular display so this is like exact working of uh, this uh, orifice meter the differential pressure is directly in the proportional to the flow rate so this is the reason if we apply the bernoulli's theorem over here in this orifice meter we are getting the differential pressure is indirectly proportional or it is in line with the flow rate the formula to calculate the discharge over here is the same as that we have seen in case of venturi meter that is nothing but the q is equals to a1 into a2 into under root of 2gh divided by a1 square minus a2 square so that is nothing but the theoretical discharge can be calculated by using the same formula we can use the differential pressure gauge as well as we can use the YouTube manometer to find out the difference in the pressure between the section 1 and section 2 over here in case of the orifice uh, orifice meter. This particular orifice meter is suitable for the all types of the liquids such as the abrasive slurry, oil suspended particles, liquid gases and like a steam basically. Uh, so this is suitable for the all the liquid types or all the flow types basically. The material of the orifice plate is made up of mainly stainless steel 
or else some other different grades of stainless steel. So now let's talk about the some of the different types of the orifice plate. So guys over here you can say that in this particular orifice meter like the orifice plate is the important element over here and due to this particular orifice plate like we are getting a pressure drop and we will be able to measure the flow rate with the help of this orifice plate. So basically there are certain types of the orifice plate as you can see over here the concentric type orifice plate, eccentric type orifice plate, the segmental type orifice plate and quadrant edge orifice plate. So now let's talk about the first one that is the concentric orifice plate. So this is the type of the orifice plate having the certain thickness that is varies from the 3.175 up to 12.75 mm. This particular thickness depends upon a certain factors such as if we say this diameter like the internal diameter of the pipe that is the big D divided by 50 means the thickness of this orifice plate should be more than the internal diameter of the pipe that is D divided by 50. Also this particular thickness of the orifice plate uh, should be greater than the bore diameter that is D divided by 8 that is nothing but the over here the small d is nothing but the diameter of the bore that is the orifice plate bore and the thickness has to be more than the value we are getting that is D divided by 8. After also this particular thickness should be more than D minus D divided by 8. So these are the three important uh, parameters that used to define the thickness of the orifice plate in case of the concentric orifice. Basically the, in this particular concentric orifice there is a small bore and like the flow will be like a parallel type of flow and the flow uh, is going to like uh, restrict at a particular point and then the, the flow particles which are there in the center line will pass through that particular orifice plate. So basically this is the fundamental principle behind the working of this uh, concentric type of orifice plate. Now moving ahead next that is nothing but the eccentric type orifice plate. Suppose the flow inside the pipe is having the you know solid particles or else the flow is a some sort of the viscous or else like there will be a oil in water or else the that is the miscellaneous type of the flow. So over here in that particular type or else the flow will be we can say that like a uh, wet steam is flowing. So over here in this particular scenario like the higher dense particles higher dense particles will be there at the bottom section. So that's why the bore of the orifice plate is there in such a way that it is uh, eccentric and it has to be like a tangential to that particular diameter of the pipe. So that the fluid will move like uh, further will the solid particles will pass through that particular orifice plate there should not be any clogage or else any should not be any damage to that particular orifice plate so this is the reason this particular eccentric type comes out so over here in this particular eccentric type orifice plate and the diameter of this particular bore is about 98 percent of that diameter of the pipe so moving ahead next is nothing but the segment orifice plate so over here in case of the segment orifice plate there is a semicircle slotted at this particular orifice plate. The main function of this segment orifice plate is nothing but the like to do not clog the suspended solid particles into this particular orifice meter uh, to avoid any clogging any jamming in the like the solid particles in that particular orifice meter. So that is the basic purpose of this segmental type of the um, orifice plate. Also over here the bore is 98% of that particular diameter of the pipe. So my last one is nothing but the quadrant edge orifice plate. So over here in this particular quadrant edge orifice plate there is a circle which is having if we look at the side view it will be exact similar to like this and over here in this particular quadrant edge orifice plate it is basically suitable for the high viscous fluids which is having the Reynolds number which is very much on a higher side. So this particular uh, like the orifice plate is suitable fluids having Reynolds number between between 1 lakh or above or else it is suitable for the Reynolds number between the 3000 to 5000 with an accuracy coefficient of 0.5%. So guys that was all about the orifice plates the types of the orifice plate we have seen and now let's move towards the, some of the specifications of this orifice meter. How does this orifice meter gets specified? Uh, so first of all this particular orifice meter is suitable for the line sizes having 6 mm to 800 mm the 6 to 800 mm line sizes uh, line sizes can be equipped can be installed the, with the orifice meter 
over here the accuracy we are getting is plus minus 0.5 up to 3 percent so that is uh, accuracy is uh, quite less as compared to the venturi meter over here the operating temperature is around 800 degrees celsius and the operating pressure at which this particular orifice meter will uh, work that is the operating pressure will be around 400 bar so these are nothing but some sort of a specifications of this orifice meter this particular orifice meter can be useful like it can be it is having the applications in the oil and gas industry it is having the applications in the oil refinery petrochemicals water treatment plants and some of the natural gases applications so guys now let's talk about the some of the advantages of the orifice meter so first of all this particular orifice meter is very much cheap like it is having a less cost less installation and setup cost is implemented with the orifice meter like unlike uh, this particular venturi meter venturi meter is having the higher installation and the setup cost but over here the cost is very much less if we talk about the installation type and the maintenance maintenance is very much cheap also if we talk about the flexibility of installation it can be installed either vertical or horizontal or else in the inclined shape it can be it has it is having the flexibility of the installation as well because this is a compact like instrument so that's why it can be installed in any of the direction so we are the operational response that we are getting in case of the orifice meter in terms of the differential pressure measure that can be designed with perfection so now let's talk about the some of the disadvantages over here in of this particular orifice meter the major disadvantage we are getting over here that is the like the pressure drop the higher pressure drop we are getting over here in case of orifice meter also due to the restriction type of this orifice meter like uh, there is a chances of the clogging of the solid suspended particles and due to this the frequent maintenance is required also due to this particular logging the corrosion chances of the corrosions are increases over here in case of the orifice meter unlike the venturi meter the downstream pressure cannot be recovered as over here we are getting the much higher head loss in terms of the difference like it is around 40 to 90 percent of the differential pressure we are getting over here in case of the orifice meter so that is the biggest disadvantage over here of this particular orifice meter also guys as you can see over here these are the flow straighteners so these particular flow straighteners are required to install before the orifice meter and after the orifice meter to make that particular flow streamline so again the installation of this flow straighteners will also implicate the cost so that is also another disadvantages of this particular orifice meter over here the discharge coefficient obtained is very much lower side so guys over here in this particular video we have learned about the orifice meter its working principle construction its applications advantages disadvantages and the types of the orifice plates that we have seen so far so guys i hope you understood this today's topic of orifice meter if you having any doubts any queries you can comment below and please do subscribe to my educational channel engineers academy thank you so much guys for watching this educational video